Hey guys, welcome back to Mount Locks Toy Room Reviews, and today I'm doing another DC Universe Green Lantern Classics figure, as from Wave 1, and is the final figure, which is figure number 6, the Manhunter Robot. Very awesome. Um, yeah, I'd like to army build these, don't know that I will, um, you know, kind of pricey to army build, this kind of stuff, but uh, anyways, comes with the upper torso for our kilo. And uh, of course this is the uh, Green Lantern Manhunter robot, um, which of course they were created by the Guardians, read a little bio there. Um, but in, I haven't read all the Green Lantern comics or anything, but what I'm reading right now, which is the uh, Sinestro Wars, um, the, the Manhunter robots are actually working for Sinestro, so that's kind of cool, but all the figures, which I have reviewed all of them so far. And Arkillo, which I'll be reviewing tomorrow. This is very awesome. This is made by Mattel in 2010. So let's take just a quick break and we'll get this guy out of the package. Alright, guys, and we are back with the Manhunter robot. And of course, you get the uh, 3D glasses and uh, the very awesome torso of Arkillo. Very cool. Which I actually already had the torso thanks to my good buddy Athurus. Um, I didn't initially plan on uh, getting most of these figures because I could only find them in Toys R Us and I uh, wasn't really feeling the uh, you know $18 price tag on them um, and not only that my Toys R Us just really doesn't stock stuff very well um, so it's always hard for me to find Toys R Us stuff and uh, you know so I, I couldn't even find most of the figures anyways so uh, in the beginning I kind of you know crossed this whole wave off my list um, but I was lucky enough to f actually find these at Walmart in kind of a small town outside of my city. We traveled outside of town and uh, found these all, you know, for 15 bucks a piece. So that's pretty cool. Very awesome face. Got like the collar around his shoulders. <clears throat> really nice sculpting on the uh, little armlets or whatever, as well as the boots. The boots are pretty awesome too. Very cool. I mean, kind of cool. He comes with kind of a unique lantern. I like how there's uh, different styles of lanterns. You know, this is probably like the fourth or fifth different lantern that I have. So it's kind of cool that they're not all the same. Um, but the uh, you can see the arm is removable there, the handle. Or not removable, but it moves. Um, articulation on this guy. Uh, his head does swivel side to side. Um, you really don't get any up and down movement though. Um, ball jointed shoulder, swivel at the upper bicep, single jointed elbow, uh, swivel at the wrist, uh, up and down torso joint, swivel at the waist, in and out at the hips, back and forward at the hips, uh, swivel at the uh, thigh there. Uh, actual double jointed knees which is really awesome. Um, very cool, I actually just noticed that. Uh, back and forward pivot in the foot. So, uh, you know, definitely well articulated, especially with the addition of the double jointed knees is very nice. Um, and just a really cool looking figure, and like I said, uh, you know, I would love to army build these. Um, but, you know, I just really haven't found too many of them. If I found a couple more at $15, I'd, I'd pick them up. Or if I found them loose online or something, I would. Um, but definitely a cool figure to have. So anyways, that was the Manhunter Robot. Thanks for checking them out. 